Hey everyone, welcome back to the Driverless Journal, your go-to source for, well, everything autonomous driving right. We break down the latest advancements and cut through all the hype to give you the real insights. Exactly. We go beyond just the headlines. We really try to dig into the technical stuff, the industry trends, and what all this means for our lives, you know? Absolutely. And today we're going deep on Tesla's latest full self-driving update, version 13.2. Now, it might seem like just another small step forward at first glance. True. But I think we're going to find some pretty interesting things about where Tesla's going with their self-driving goals. Yeah, and what's really interesting here is they actually missed their initial deadline. Remember, they were aiming for October, then it got pushed to November. Right. And they finally released it, but a bunch of features were still missing. Yeah, right off the bat, there's this gap between Tesla's promises and what they're actually delivering. Exactly. So we need to look past the marketing and understand the challenges. Are they cutting corners? What trade-offs are they making? What does this mean for autonomous driving as a whole? Big questions. So to get a clear picture of what's actually in V13.2, we're looking at this Autoblog article. Tesla pushes a half-complete FSD update to avoid missing another deadline. It breaks down the key features and what's still missing. One of the big takeaways here is that it seems like Tesla just wanted to get something out there even if it wasn't finished. Right. It makes you wonder if they're feeling the pressure to stay on top in the autonomous driving world. It is interesting because on one hand, they are making some big steps forward, like with AI processing. Yeah. The article talks about faster speeds and more data being used. Yeah, that's crucial for Tesla. They're using that huge fleet of cars they have to collect tons of data, which helps train their AI models. But then on the other hand, some of the big features they promised are still upcoming improvements, so they're not actually here yet. And those missing pieces are important too, like they're still working on even more powerful AI models, audio input to better understand sirens and even destination options beyond just a location, you know, telling the car to pull over or park in a specific spot. So it seems like Tesla is walking this tightrope, pushing boundaries, but also bumping up against what's possible right now. For sure. And that raises the question, are they cutting corners? Are they over-promising? Or are they just innovating so fast it's hard to keep up? Those are exactly the questions we're going to explore. We want to give you a clear and honest look at what's happening with Tesla's full self-driving. Absolutely. Let's start with the features that did make it into V13.2, beginning with that enhanced AI processing. So what does that actually mean for drivers? Well, Tesla says it means a smoother, more responsive driving experience. They've really upgraded their hardware and software, which they say leads to four times more data stealing and five times more training compute scaling. Those are some pretty technical terms. So basically, Tesla can process and analyze a lot more data way faster. Right. And that's super important for making their AI more accurate and efficient. And they're also talking about speed profiles for city and highway driving. This should make the driving feel more natural and intuitive because a car adjusts its speed based on traffic. That focus on a more human-like driving experience is interesting. You know, it suggests that Tesla is shifting away from that traditional robotic approach to autonomous driving. Yeah, it's like they're realizing that for people to accept self-driving cars, they need to feel familiar and predictable. Exactly. And this focus on mimicking human driving raises some really interesting questions about AI and ethics, mm. you know? How closely can we or should we try to make machines think like humans? That's a big one. We'll come back to that for sure. <laughs> but for now, let's move on to another big feature in this update. The integrated unpark, reverse and park capabilities. This is the one where you pull up to a parking lot, tap a button, and your Tesla takes over, finds a spot, and parks itself. It's definitely a step towards that future where our cars can handle all the boring parts of driving. Totally. And Tesla's been pushing this feature, so there's a lot of hype. But how well does it actually work? Well, from what I've seen online, early users are giving mixed reviews. Some people are impressed with how it handles parallel parking even in tight spots, but others are saying it's glitchy and inconsistent. So it sounds like it's still a work in progress. Like a lot of what we're talking about today, promising, but not quite there yet. Yeah, and this is where the data part gets really important. Tesla relies on data from its drivers to develop these features. The system is always learning and getting better based on what people are actually experiencing out on the road. So Tesla drivers are kind of like beta testers in a way. It makes you wonder how comfortable are people with their car learning while they're driving it. That's a good point. On the one hand, that constant data collection helps Tesla make their technology better really quickly. Right. But it also means you're putting your trust in an AI that's still being developed. There's a level of uncertainty there. It's a trade-off for sure. Something to think about as we move towards more autonomous driving in our everyday lives. Definitely. 
Now let's switch gears and talk about the audio inputs in this update. It hasn't gotten as much attention as the parking stuff, but it's a big deal. Yeah, so the car will actually be able to hear mm -hmm. now. How does that work? What does that change? Well, Tesla's working on using audio cues to identify things like emergency vehicles and respond accordingly. So imagine an ambulance is coming towards an intersection, but you can't see it because of buildings or other cars. Right now, the system might miss it because it's only using cameras. Exactly. But with audio data, the car could hear the siren even if it can't see the ambulance. So it could slow down or pull over to get out of the way. That's a huge improvement. It's like giving the car another sense, a more complete picture of the world. That's a good way to put it. And this multi-sensory perception is becoming more common in autonomous driving. It's all about making systems more robust, adaptable, and ultimately safer. Now this update does bring some cool new things, but we should also talk about what's still missing. We already mentioned the enhanced AI models and the more complex destination options. Right, and there's also been some talk that Tesla might stop releasing detailed patch notes for future updates. Really? Why would yeah. they do that? It seems like they might be feeling the pressure of those deadlines. By not announcing specific features ahead of time, they have more flexibility with development and releases. I guess that makes sense for them. Mm -hmm. But wouldn't it be a problem for users if they're not being transparent? Transparency is super important, especially when it comes to technology that affects safety. People need to know what's changing in the system they're trusting with their lives. It's a tough balance. Mm. You want to encourage innovation and let companies like Tesla try new things. Yeah. But you don't want to lose transparency and accountability along the way. It's something Tesla and the whole autonomous driving industry will have to figure out as this technology keeps evolving. For sure. Now, before we wrap up our look at V13.2, I wanted to touch on something that doesn't get talked about enough, the ethical side of autonomous driving. Yeah, that's huge. Mm -hmm. As we give more and more control to machines, we need to think about the values we're building into them. What kind of driverless future do we actually want? Exactly. Like, how do we program a car to make tough decisions in emergencies? What happens when those choices involve the safety of the passengers versus the safety of people outside the car? Those are tough questions with no easy answers, but we can't ignore them as we head towards a world with more and more autonomous vehicles. Yeah, that's a lot to think about. And that's why we're here at the Driverless Journal, to give you the insights you need to understand this whole world of autonomous driving. Right. We want to empower people with knowledge. Because when you understand the technology, the good and the bad, you can make better choices about how you want autonomous driving to fit into your life. So as we wrap up our look at Tesla FSD V13.2, what are the key takeaways? Well, first, Tesla is still pushing the limits of autonomous driving. The improvements to AI and things like the integrated parking are impressive, even if there are still kinks to work out. And second, this technology is still evolving. We're going to see glitches, setbacks, and a lot of discussion about how to balance innovation with safety and being transparent. And third, as we move towards a future with more autonomous vehicles, we can't forget about the ethical side. We need to talk about what this means for society, the economy, our lives. Definitely. We hope this deep dive has given you a better understanding of Tesla's latest update and the bigger picture of autonomous driving. And we hope you'll join the conversation. What do you think about Tesla's approach? What features are you excited about? What worries you? We're building a community of people who want to understand the future of transportation. We'd love for you to be a part of it. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe to the Driverless Journal, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next analysis. Thanks for being here. Until next time, drive safe.